you know, I, I'm actually just waiting on my dryer to finish drying towels so I can take a shower because I'm out the yard. I was like, well, I might as well just record something. And I just want to say, I'm pretty pleased where we are from a contract standpoint, right? The only contract, literally, the only contract, not, not including like under 20s and under 18s and all that kind of stuff, but of the players we have in the first team, including some of those youth prospects we've loaned out, the only contract that we have to worry about at the end of the season is the loan. Everyone else is at least next year. We are in a good spot. So what do we do about that? Hey. Hello, my friends. Welcome in. We are going to be taking on Sporting today. Look at that little run. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of nice. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Um, I don't think I need to show you all of these, but like... This was worth the price of admission. Was kind of disappointed, right, to give up because we were up 3-1. Yeah. Yeah. And then they came back and, like, it was almost like I was expecting a fourth goal to come in in the 89th minute. Like, we just couldn't do anything. Like, they shattered our belief. Um, against Bari, 3-0. Silva slots home a penalty. Arnaud gets a goal. And Lothar picks up one. I think it's, he's got eight now on the season. Not bad for an inconsistent player. Um... Facundo de Santos, honestly kind of disappointing. It was away from home. It's a big game. They are in fifth. Like, and we are, like, in the season. So it's not like a fluke. So I guess I shouldn't really complain. But, you know, once we slotted at home, it was kind of meh. Perugia 2-1. Lothar with a brace. Nice. And we needed it because they scored one in the 60th minute. But we were able to hold them off. Um, you remember that thing where I sold Oriole? <laughs> Yeah, we played a Mary a lot because uh, Neto had a virus for two weeks, which is so 2020 it hurts. Um, but a Mary's doing all right. You know, he's on a 7 2 1. Now, his recent form is a 6. You can't see it. It's a 6. I guess I could show you. Yeah. Whoa. It's a, um, a 6.9 on average as of late, but it's really not all that bad. You know, again, I, I'm, I know I'm asking. I'm just asking for fate to do something to us. Um, by bringing that up but back to the contracts I think this like we are on the brink of some magic I think with the club right we have to wait another 14 15 16 months something like that to get the stadium built so a season and a little bit and then we'll be in our own stadium which should help our finances significantly we are currently well under the wage budget we have not spent the money that we got for Oriole. Now, you might say that's a mistake, which it might be. Um, I'd like to think the board would say, hey, next season, we'll give you $40 million. You know, just add the two transfer windows together. But either way, it's helping out our projection. $73 million in the hole. I thought that's supposed to get better, lads. Um, even turnover would be down. But, you know, that's just a projection. It's just a projection. It's fine. But what this allows us to do, right? So, Paul... We can't give him the, the playing time he wants. So Paul may go. Paul, we may be selling Paul in the summer, but we have the luxury of doing that. We have a year left on his contract, so we can make a tough decision if we need to. I like that we're still not sure about his potential ability. He's only been here, like, almost three whole seasons. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, guys, we're not sure about this guy? And it's not like he's not played. Like, he's getting 20 games a season. Like, hello? Um... But we can't give him the games he wants. Now, what's the plan there? Well, we have Jacopo Signor, uh, Signorini, who I'm not saying is as good. But he is a prospect of ours, and he has the equal amount of potential. If he was getting game time, would he improve? I mean, he's definitely stepped out. Like, not going to lie. I'm, I'm not saying he's amazing. Um, can also play central defense, you know, in, in a bind. Um, and really good mentals-ish. He's kind of declined because we sent him to a Serie Chi club. You know, that whole getting game time. But it's like, ooh, this is a lot of not because their training facilities are just absolutely trash. Um, but he's an option. Or we could go find a backup player or something like that. We've got Noah Bonnet that we're going to try and sell. Um, he's, you know, pick him up for, what was it, 2.8. We've loaned him out for now at least 4.4. Um, see, the the loan, the, the number keeps moving. It's odd. Um but, you know, we're going to we're going to turn a profit on him 
right? We, if we try and sell him for six million, right? Like, boom, and then go buy a backup right back. He's just he's not going to make it. But we have the opportunity to do that. Fio Rani on another for another season. He's one of the options we can have to keep. Um, you know, currently operating at Serie Bay level, you could argue we could try a Samba Sal with him and extend him one more time and loan him out, right? Because right now we are getting paid a little itty bit for loaning him out. So there's an option. And, you know, he's having a darn good season in Serie Bay. Like, he's a 7.0. So you would think next or this coming summer, if we're like, hey, we're going to extend him and we're going to offer him out on loan, teams would be like, yeah, he's he's at our level. That's pretty darn good. Francesco Nicolini, probably going to get extended. Serie Bay talent right now, 22 starts, three goals, four assists. I know we just did a low knee review, but I'm thinking th this is like how I think through long-term planning. So um, he's on a 7-1-1. That's a pretty good level for him, obviously. Currently operating a Serie Bay level. Potential to be a Serie A midfielder. So, again, we, do we... I mean, he's on three grand a week. We could bump him up to eight or nine or ten or something like that and see if we can loan him out again or we just up and sell him for three million if we could. I'm a little... He's kind of all over the place. Like, he's definitely more deep playing playmaker, which doesn't really fit our system, which is why I might say, eh, let's sell him. But if you can extend him and increase his value and continue to get paid for him, you know, maybe that's okay, right? Because right now we're worrying 160 grand on him. So it's not bad, not bad. Um, same thing with Kluga. It depends. Whoop. It'd help if I actually clicked on the right player. Kluga isn't going to get any better. Although, you know, I say that in those yellow arrows on his on his screen. And he's he's quite good. Um, he's a 6 eight, nine as a as a squad rotation player. If he wants to be now, oh, hello, Beijing. You want to pay another 50 million for a player? How you doing? Um, he's got two years left. So, like, it's not, like, urgent. And and he's getting enough game time, I think, as a squad player to not be upset. The only other player I want to bring up, well, to Pasoni, it might be, there's a lot of cons here. And, I, you know, I, I think it was a mistake for me to not sell him here. I just love a home. You go. You all know this. I love a homegrown talent, and you know if we could get ten or fifteen million for him, ooh, that'd be pretty tasty, wouldn't it? Um, I haven't shown you this kid's progress in a while. Seventeen, two years left on his contract. Future prospect. He's wanted on loan. We're keeping him around the team because this is happening. He's already gotten a whole sub in the Super Cup. We may use him here. You know, like give him three minutes in the games just to show, like, hey man, you're part of the squad. Um. I, I'm going to tell you about more players, apparently. Um, Brogy probably going to sell. And that that hurts. I just, for the value you could get, right? Eight and a quarter. If we could sell him for $10 million with some, like, sell-on, right? Like, uh, you know, percentage of profit of next sale. He's only gotten one start, five subs, 6.73. We've, we've increased the depth. And if his potential was higher, I think he'd be worth keeping. But I think it's time to be like, hey, let's go, let's flip him. Because we can always bring in like a loan player that doesn't cost, you know, eight million, right? Um, now the wages might be higher. Maybe we can get a decent loan player for free. He is on 8.75. So it's like, you know, if you're paying 30,000 a week in wages, well, that's not as good. But if you sell the player, you know, if you sell Brogy for ten million and then you turn around and pay thirty thousand a week, yeah, you've tripled, triple, almost, almost quadrupled the wages you're paying. But like, is it worth it? Eh. But at the same time, could you get a higher attribute player, right? Um, so just some things going on there. Now Nicolini could be that player, but he's not. He doesn't play the defender role. He's a, he doesn't tackle. Now you could argue maybe we train him. He he could do a job and and be like that. That holding midfielder that can pick out a pass? Maybe. Well, I'd like kind of your thoughts on that, actually. Um, so just some things going on there. And then where's Hope? Hope Oladapo. Is he is he an under-20 player? I really don't think he's an under-20 player. I just don't really need him. Yeah. Um, but obviously, he's he's the one that's coming back to compete with Ameri and potentially Peter Moita. I think he's in the lead right now, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, look at, he's doing quite well, you could say. Now, it's the Turkish Super League, which is, you know, 13th best league. But he's, you know, it's not like, how good are they? 
Currently third. That's because he's there, clearly. Um, but then you got Peter as well, who... Do we, do we give him another season on loan? But, like, up how much we're charging for him? Currently only Syria Chi level, but has Syria A uh, talent. So, and is improving. You know, he's on a 677 in Syria Bay, which maybe that's the indicator that he's a Syria Chi talent, right? But, like, I like that he went to a Syria Bay team. So, I just, I like that we're not sitting here with, like, you know, you're sitting here going, oh, all those contracts are expiring. We've got problems. And I've rambled now for 10 minutes. Um, wasn't really expecting that to go that long, but I'm pretty happy, right? Even our big contracts, right? We've got this summer, we'll probably see, because they got two years left, if we can extend these guys, or maybe January. Would also like your thoughts on that. Like, do we wait until it's like 18 months out before we offer no extension? Ganesh as well, Ken Luce. So it's like 2037 is more of the problem year. So can we start navigating some of that now while we have the transfer budget to offer, you know, loyalty bonuses and, you know, stick around and be happy bonuses, essentially, right? Um, so, you know, yeah, that's what, I mean, if you want to, three, four, five, six players in the pretty regular 18, not including Boatang, 19. Yeah, it's a third of the squad. So, you know, just things to consider, things to consider. Um, but as it sits right now, my friends, we are currently in second, but we could be in third if Juventus beats Perugia. Probably going to do that. If a draw would be okay, but that would still probably push us up. Th oh, I'm not sure of the sorting rules. Um, but we're currently a point off top, and if they win, we would be two points off top. So it's actually it's improved because of our little run here, which is nice to say. It's nice to see. Um, do I have any transfers lined up? Um, we are going after this kid. Um, we have been we've been poking at Real uh, or Real uh, at Red Bull Salzburg, RB Salzburg, um, for months now. I haven't really shown him. Um, and this used to be like a hundred and a hundred to one hundred and twenty, and it's come down. And we've now had two of our players promote him, pr promote us in the press to him. We've had a scout go look at him. He, my friends, would be the get rid of Lothar. Right? Um, yeah. And it's essential, like, we're trying to pay, like, 33 now, plus, like, 35 later. You know, stringing it out uh, from a finance standpoint. But, yeah, he's, he's 23. He's Italian. He knows the inside forward role look and he's professional he's elite now we'd pay through the nose on wages but that's okay that's okay i mean yeah if you could sell uh lothar for 25 million to offset some of the cost sure no problem so just a little thing in the background that we're i mean we've literally i've been poking for like since december at least when i was like oh hello and you know float out of things see if we can unsettle him he's not really become unsettled but you never know uh sporting huh has a zinedine zidane uh, as the manager, and um, he said there's no love lost with him and Felipe Neto, so, you know, that's okay. Neto's got a virus, or no, he's back. He just came back, right? It was a virus, right? It was a virus. Yes. Yeah, literally, two weeks. Kind of aggressive, but he's back. He's feeling it. He's on 61 grand. Oh, we are going to pay through the nose on when he has his renewal. My goodness. Um, I thought about doing 3-4-3 three, three, uh, because we're away from home. But it said that they give up a goal every seven or a chance every 17 minutes against 4-2-3-1. Now, it also said that they create a chance every 11 minutes playing a 4-2-3-1. So it's our best against their best. That's how I look at it. We played well recently. We've been on a good run. And this is how we line up. I don't, how do you not know this role? I'm just, we've been working on it pretty much your entire career with us that's interesting I, I just think that's interesting lothar last i'm gonna i'm gonna call him out in a good way and then he's gonna completely bomb a 7-1-2 in the last five games inconsistent can we just get a little bit more consistency today lothar and then you can drop off in the league and we'll put lorenzo in huh 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 let's go boys keep the run going no one cares that's a great start I want to see a good display. Paul Colombani, the legend, is ready to go. No one else. Um, why are you saying we're going to dominate? Come on, it's the Champions League. Um, 
we gotta make sure we start well long may that continue Ibrahim yeah and we are gonna do my friends it's extended highlights day even though we even though I just it's 14 15 minutes into the episode and we're just starting um, because I rambled for a long time but I have had comments in the past that you all enjoy like hey how are you kind of thinking through those things how are you planning that out so I try and share that every so often so hopefully that helps you maybe in, in your saves uh, or maybe you just find it interesting please don't give up a penalty or a goal or a goal. Oh dear. Oh, he's got acres of space. Oh, it doinks off someone's face. Possession is a thing sometimes. It, maybe they couldn't replace their uh, amazing center back. It appears they could not. I mean, he's pretty good defensively, but with the ball at his feet. We'll, we'll hold off for now, but that's, you know, we'll tuck that away in the old noggin. We've, we've not had a single shot. It's not very good, is it? Oh, oh, he almost nipped it. Oh, he nips it. Dos Santos and the Champions League. The Silva chases it down. Oh, he ran behind that one time. Like, oh, hello. Oh, that was... Mm. Mm. Feeling aggressive. Neto's going to get a red card, isn't he? He's gonna take. He's gonna take Zidane out. He's not even gonna take it out on a player. He's just gonna come over and just punch him in the face and get sent off. Or maybe he'll headbutt him. Ha ha! Colabani. Oh, he somehow gets it through the man. De Silva, but Sunchen, Sunken, Sunken, Sunchen. I'm not sure. Is ready for it. Ibrahim to De Silva. No time to dawdle on that. Loose. Oh, plays it into space. Loose. It don't. Sell. Or not. Was I'm not selling loose. It's Brogy. I don't know why I thought that. Um, that was a good cut back. It just didn't work out. Da Silva chasing chasing down Renan, lumbering to chase down. Good tackle, clean, superbly done per the text right there. Kasapa, interesting camera angle. We've changed it up to the sky cam. Plays it back. Didn't want ever to get dizzy with the ball floating around. Felipe Neto finds Colombani. Lots of space. Again, heaviest touch on the planet. He was going to play it to Dos Santos, but Dos Santos was, ran, you know, past the offside line. That was a cracker of a shot. From distance, keeper was ready for it. Nobody's there on the corner. Contreras is going to chase that down and stand on it. Because, you know, that makes sense. Hey, there's a guy chasing me. I'll just stand here. Maybe he wants the ball. Good job by Ibrahim. Gets back defensively to cover his midfielder. We've come into it. Five shots now to their two. We are going to demand more, even though we're doing pretty well. We, You know, let's go, boys. All we needed is a way goal. Or two. Preferably two. Probably nine, but we'll take two or one better than zero. Again, tackled. Nice job. Ken Luce is there to pick up the pieces. Plays it back. Actually doesn't just stand on the ball and get tackled. Does his job. Casapa plays it over. Felipe Neto. Jose Carlos. Contreras. We're moving the ball nicely now. Luce. Maz, I don't like that pass. There's a there's a sporting player right there. Okay. One's a twosie. Oh, into space. Ibrahim. What is the winger doing? That was supposed to be that, that guy right there. That's supposed to be covering him. I didn't even see the shot. It was blocked apparently floated away are they hanging on I know people said like oh man it's those Italians but like is it really that oh dear their first shot on target my friends really coming from nothing we have been on top of it and that's from distance so shame on us Kasapa maybe could have come out you could argue Old lady plays to let us know in the comments since she used to be goalkeeper, whether that's a reasonable uh, feeling or not. Oh, not again. It would be a dagger at the hat right before half to get a second one. They've woken up. We've woken up the sleeping giant. Now everyone's mad. Okay. Yes, it's disappointing. They're fired up. And I'm going to say, I never talked to the goalkeeper, but we will talk to him this time and say, I believe in you, mate. I believe in you. We do need to get a goal here. Eight shots with seven on target with two clear cut chances, and we are down 1 0. We've been luster city, my friends. Oh, they're they're olaying us. Oh, the mentals have gone. We need a goal to solve the all oh, solve that problem. That's a red card, surely. De Silva plays it to Loth Lothar. Plays it to Ibrahim, who is rushing on. He can't finish, but Colombani does. He's onside because the keeper touched it, and Colombani wasn't past the last defender. Taps it home. Sixth goal of the season. Has that fixed the mentals? We've got the away goal. Ten shots, nine on target. Are you serious? De Silva, Lothar, Ibrahim. Yes, he was clearly onside. Keeper did his best. Not really going to fault him there. 
We are still up. Oh, oh, we fixed it. We fixed it. We just had it. We had to have a minute to think about it. Maybe, Col maybe Colombani has said something like, boys, we scored. We're dominant. Let's go do it again. Ganesh on the wing. Cuts it back. Colombani. Ooh, he's got Ganesh again. He's got Ganesh again. Do something. Okay, the tackle will get it to him. Ganesh. Oh, Dos Santos right at the keeper. Three clear cut chances, two half chances now. Do we push for it? Contreras, 6.4. Probably has to come off. We'll bring on Arnold Richard. Whoop! Puts out. Neto. Finds loose. I would have liked that to go back on the wing, but I'm not sure if he was onside. Maybe the, maybe that was the, the confusion there. Ooh, dearie. We look like we don't know what we're doing, but it quasi works. To sell again from distance, but the keeper, once again, was ready. We are going to make our first change. It's going to be Contreras, who's played, I mean, well for us, just not today. Um, and we're going to bring on, you know what, we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. And we're going to bring on Richard. Or, or, do we bring on Lorenzo in the attacking mid? Uh, I think we'll do that. I think, I think, I, you know, we'll stick with your gut. Uh, Richard is definitely more of a defensive player, but maybe, had, maybe as an advanced playmaker, he can actually help tackle. Please don't concede immediately after a substitution. Unmarked. Unmarked. Hello. There we go. I mean, I know he's way out there, but I guess that's the lurking out, outside the box guy. Dos Santos. Colomani was kind of there, but they're able to reset. Lothar can't get to that. It's over his head. It's down into dangerous territory. Blondi. Blondell. Oh, it's just outside. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine, boys. I'm going to yell again. Just to refocus us, but I'm not panicking. We've got the away goal. We have looked better by a, a fair margin from the chances created. Neto just... Oh! Okay, not a... Oh, can't lose trips over his own feet. Oh, oh, that was a good save, and then it wasn't. It wasn't, my friends. Um... I'm I'm daring to go attacking. This could blow up on our face, but I think a 2-1 lead is okay coming home. I think that's just an unfortunate set of events. And then Ken Luce trips over his own toes, which is just... And now he's going to start losing his mind, apparently. Um, so all of that is quite disappointing. Um, but we're going to go attacking because, I mean... Now, one of their clear-cut chances was that counterattack. So, but we've, we've created more chances. We've had more shots. We've had 11 shots on target and have, have nothing to show for. I mean, one goal to show for. So, I think us going attacking is smart, question mark. Um, it's certainly, you know, probably going to make this more entertaining. So, <laughs> let's find out if that's a good thing or not. Richard. Or not. Got him on a free. Ibrahim. Lots of space. He likes to zip him in from there. He tries it. Maybe they knew. That was his uh, modus operandi, and they just let him try it. And they're like, yeah, it's fine. We might need to take the yellow off. Slide Richard over. De Silva back. As soon as they say that, De Silva nips it. Oh, referee. Yes, siree. Game potential changer, my friends. Why are we apprehensive? Can we fix this? Um, I'm going to say push forward. Let's see what happens with the mentals now that they've had a man sent off. No. Nervous. We're going to take the Santos off. We're going to bring on... We, this is why we signed him. This is why we signed him. Um, I think... And you're apprehensive. Goodness me. Um, I think it makes more sense to have more attacking players on. So we're going to slide Richard over. He's still... We, we got a holding uh, player. But De Silva is by far the best advanced playmaker we have. And we can use Lorenzo in a more attacking fashion. That's kind of where my head goes with this. That is our last change. No other changes, my friends. Let's go. I've already shouted. Can't do anything about it. I mean, we're going to go very attacking. We have a man advantage. We have been the more dominant team, and yet we are down 2-1. Panicked, clears. Ganesh collects it. Neto can play it back out. Richard gets it instead. It goes to Jose Carlos. He goes out on the wing. Yes, Ibrahim. Ball kind of curved, plays it over. Oh, doinks off the bar. Oh, we are unlucky today, my friends. Katie bar the door. Oh, highlight. You know what that means. 
exactly. We are gonna we are really gonna push it. I know this is dangerous at the back, but we're going for that. I think if we get a second away goal, it it's probably done and dusted, especially with the man of energy. He's offside. He's offside. As soon as I saw the AR go run to his little position. He wasn't sure, so he did a little bit of this. Are we sure? Oh, he's clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Pick <laughs> pass it to anybody in the front line. They're all offside. Because I said get forward, I guess. Demand more boys. Focus. We're gonna oh, we got four minutes to try and make a difference here. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh oh yeah, overlap the right. I, I I'm doing everything I can here. It could blow up on our face and be a 3-1 deficit, and that would be horrific, but you would think with 10, right? Like, sometimes you got to roll the dice. I cannot believe how dominant we've been. It, it, it's evened up a little bit, but especially the first half. We were just all over them, but them's the breaks. Come on. We're, we're, we're trying to score here, boys. Is he going to ping a stupid ball in? What was that? What was that, lads? Oh, it's a set piece. That's exactly what Sporting want. Disaster here for Reggio Adache. Oh, it's over. Less than a minute left. Ibrahim is going on a jaunt. He's got two covering him. And they tackle it out for a throw. Let's go pick it right up. Throw it right back in. Oh! A continuous highlight. I don't know if I've seen that in quite some time. At least not that I remember. Lothar Da Silva! Da Silva! 12th goal of the season with the equalizer. The difference maker. The man. The myth. The 250 grand a week. Oh, a third! Potential! Da Silva chips it over! Richard, run! Use your legs! Oh, and we could have punted it back in. But we will... Based on that prior position, we will take... I'm going to say come back. I'm not, I don't want to say it was a great effort. We shouldn't have been down by 2-1 for that long. And it shouldn't have taken a red card to get us back into the game. But we will take two away goals. As it sits right now, we're through. So we need to come at home. And we need to score some goals. And then we're through. I'm still kind of disappointed. How important is Lugo? He's had 15 starts and seven. So he's he's one of their starting center backs. Probably their left starting center back. So we'll have to remember that for next time to see if we can make the difference there. Oh. I love you. Go away. Go away, Liverpool and Man United. $103 million, my friends. That is so huge. So huge. Next time you see us, it is going to be a double. It's going to be a double. We're going to do Sporting and Milan. Two massive games for our season. Season defining games. When you look at the rest, now we can't, we can't, we can't like lay off the gas here, but like 15th, 7th. I've been saying Sosulo. I've now heard on several podcasts, Sosuelo. Let me know in the comments. Sorry if that's how it's pronounced. I've been butchering it. Lazio, 20th. Milan in 1st. Torino in 11th. 12th. 14th. 19th. 18th. 17th. 13th. Aside from Milan, we don't play anybody better than 7th as it sits right now. I think the season, the league title is ours for the taking. We need to avoid injuries and we need to push, push, push. Off we go, my friends. Positivity to end. I'm so glad we got that equalizer. Hit that like button, share it with a friend, we'll see you next time. Thanks!